a new addition yesterday, Mark Roberts, on loan from Premier Division Kilmarnock. Tom Miller asked Roberts before the game why he'd agreed to the move to Kirkcaldy. Well, basically, at the moment, I wasn't getting a game at Kilmarnock, which is not the, the ideal situation, so I was getting the chance to come here and play a few games. Hopefully, I can do Ruth well, do myself well, basically. We look at the number of foreigners in the game just now, and Kilmarnock in particular seem to have a, a fancy for French players just now. Is there too many foreigners in the game in the Premier level that avoids or gives, restricts the, the development of youth talent in Scotland? There's, there's definitely a lot more foreigners coming in, a lot of lads only getting the chance, but managers are better sure. to them in it. As a Premier player, what sort of interest do you take in the First Division? Do you look to the First Division scores, particularly knowing that 12 clubs are two from the first, will make a 12 club? Premier next season? Definitely, because you don't know who you're going to come up against next season, and you don't know what you're going to be doing next season. You might end up playing for a first division club, like the way things are happening to me just now, but you, don't, you never know what's going to happen, so you always, you've got a wee interest. Everybody talks about the first division. It's a decent league, there are a lot of good teams in it. Certainly is. What about the game? Gary Mackay's team looking to avoid a repeat of the 4 1 hammering they suffered at the hands of Wraith earlier in the season. David McKinney has the best of the action. Recent good form has seen a Rovers return to the top end of the table and their confidence was clear to see early on. Didi Agathy denied by a superb stop from Paul Gallagher on loan to Airdrie from Dundee United. Agathy has been outstanding since his arrival from France and he's perhaps overshadowed some of his teammates. Alex Burns, the former Motherwell hitman, showing what he's capable of. Well, Airdrie's best chances of the day were created for them by a hesitant home defence and there is no case for the defence here. Paul Brown carelessly setting up Gareth Evans. And Guido van der Kamp less than impressed with his centre half. Well, Craig McEwen followed Brown's example in a comic catch routine. His mistake is compounded by his keeper and Alan Moore is laughing all the way home. It's Christmas come early for Moore and Airdrie. This is gift wrapped with a bow on top. For Wraith's equaliser was a family affair. Brian Heatherston, the brother of assistant manager Peter, was brought on and with virtually his first touch, he brought his side back into the game. Steve Hamilton swings the ball over. Jimmy Sanderson's efforts are in vain. Dig out the super sub tag, it's the second consecutive match. Heatherston's come on and scored. The ball adjudged to be over the line before Mark Roberts makes sure. Roberts is on loan from Kumarna. Can he keep close to a debut goal? A nice turn and a shot. Jimmy Sanderson is successful on the line this time. And Q concentrated pressure on the Airdrie defence. It's Jay Steen who eventually shoots over. And Steen came closer to the winner when he had the ball in the net. But the flag was up for offside. Overall, a frustrating afternoon all round. We knew it would be difficult, but uh, we're getting in front in the game. I was disappointed that we didn't show a wee bit more resolve to actually keep Wraith out. I thought Paul Gallagher, uh, who came in and goal today, had done very well in the first half and worked hard to keep us at nothing each, and we had a couple of chances ourselves. But uh, getting in front, you're always disappointed to lose that lead.